Good morning, and welcome to the Black Stage at Slush. Um, it's amazing to be on a 360-degree stage and talk about VR. Um, I don't quite have eight eyes and eight ears, as the Ozo does, but I will try to reach you um, during my talk. Today, virtual reality is on the cusp of a revolution. It will ultimately change the way we live, the way we play, and the way we work. I'll offer a few views to the state of VR and what we'll be experiencing uh, at Slush this year. Amazing progress has happened in VR throughout the year, and I'll be focusing on two key elements that need to be in place for VR to succeed. Those are the state of the VR ecosystem and the quality of VR experiences. VR is clearly graduating from early adoption into larger scale use with the entry of the next generation head mounted displays offering better resolution, better ergonomics. Social media, YouTube and Facebook embracing 360 degree video, including live streaming. New platforms being introduced like Sony PlayStation VR and Google Daydream. This paves the way for storytelling. So when all these elements of the ecosystem start to fall into place, from professional VR cameras like the Ozo through to post-production, editing and playback, content creators and storytellers will start to embrace this new medium and they create content we haven't seen before. Let me give you a couple of examples. A new era of music videos is emerging. Take, take one. Two. Take Kids uh, by One Republic as an example. A music video is entirely shot in VR and in one take. Or Take Argos by the Oscar winning Team Magnopus. A live action VR film shot in first person view with overlaid CGI graphics, transferring you to a new universe, a truly mesmerizing experience. Live VR streaming uh, is very actively being explored in sports and music, to name a few. If you looked at some of the main sports events happening this year, from Olympics to NBA Finals to Wimbledon to Euro football, you would see VR being explored, new experiences being created to consumers. Now let's step back and look at uh, what Nokia has been doing uh, since the adoption of our award meeting Ozo camera, we've seen great adoption, uh, great interest. We've expanded the portfolio of products to cover these critical enablers uh, for future VR experiences. So these cover live streaming of VR and a player SDK for playback solutions. These will give tools for content creators to further explore and create expanded VR experiences. Now let's zoom into live VR, and I'll come back to this setting in a moment. Live VR streaming gives you an opportunity to be transported to the field where your favorite sports team is playing, or to the front row seat in your favorite rock band's concert. From the comfort of your own couch, you'll be transported to that event as if you were there. And this gives the rise to a virtual ticket concept, as an example. Now, at Slush, we'll be exploring live streaming. So Ozo is here on stage for a reason. So he will be, he or she, will be uh, an observer in the panel discussions that take place here during the two days. We'll be live streaming Ozo in full 360 degree video and audio through the Ozo Technologies, our mobile edge computing platform, and our partner Sonera's LTE network to the booth here uh, outside the black stage. So you'll be experiencing what it feels to sit here among the luminaries, participate in discussion as a silent observer. We'll also be able to um, create and share your own VR experience, a VR selfie, if you will, in the Meet Me in VR booth. And we'll be offering a range of VR films for you to enjoy. 
Now with this, I wish you a very eventful, impactful, fun slush, both in reality and in virtual reality. Thanks.